I just can't let you go Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one Hey everyone, this is Kelly from Empire Tarot. Yes, I am back doing your collective love readings. I will be here daily to do these love readings for you, any and all signs. All of you are welcome. Please do smash the like, subscribe button. If you are a new subscriber, if you are returning, welcome. So happy to see you all back here again. If you want to get a personal reading, there will be a link in the description box below. Okay, let's get into this. All right, you guys, let's get started. You've got a love call coming in. Look at that. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. Very nice. Now, that is such an old school phone. So if you have that type of phone still in your house and you're using that, okay, get it. Yep, but it could be um, a love call. It could be a text message, an email. Um, I don't know who still emails, but I guess people might email, um, or a phone, your phone might be ringing. It could be coming from, um, a different phone number as well. I'm just hearing, um, a phone number that you're not, somebody might've changed their number as well. Let me see what else is coming in for you for the collective love call. Someone comes in to tell you that they miss you or that they're thinking of you they just want to let you know so if you have a birthday coming up that's a message for you if you have a birthday today happy birthday dragonfly being lighthearted, finding out things coming to light adapt change and heal wow okay so i do feel like you're getting some kind of a message you're gonna find out somebody's calling you from um, an unlisted number okay yes calling for a date meeting someone new dating getting back out there planning setting a date i feel like somebody's interested they want to get together with you set up some kind of a date with you going forward but this get i do feel like you know who it is but the thing is this is i don't know why somebody would call me calling from a different number and not letting you know who it is at first i feel like you might not recognize the number or know who it is but i do feel like you you're gonna find out okay definitely let me see show uh, show the collective what other messages are showing up here from this person who this person is what is this message oh my goodness okay yeah for some reason this is a totally like an unlisted block they don't want you to know Oh my gosh, it's like a little creeper effect. Like this person misses you. Yes, it says meeting someone new. Some of you might be getting back out there and meeting other people or meeting new people or maybe you're going on a date with someone new and then you get this call. Is it your ex? It could be. Is it someone that you knew before reaching out, not letting you know that it's them and sending some kind of message i just keep getting this energy that it's from like a blocked or an or a missed or an unlisted number you're gonna find out about it though this week you're gonna realize yes you're gonna realize who it's from and i don't know how you're gonna feel about that but we'll take a look and see hmm wow I mean, I feel like it's going to make you happy. I don't know. Why is that going to make you happy? What's going on? What's going on? Why is that going to... Like, I asked. You got the Ace of Cups. It's like going to fill your cup. It's going to make you feel good. It's going to make you feel good. Wow. Wow. It's almost like... Um, like a new start you might feel like oh okay we're gonna have some kind of new start some of you might not want to start over with another person you want to try to make this try to um have this new beginning maybe you feel like somebody forgot about you or you were hoping that someone was gonna call or you're hoping you're gonna hear from someone again or hoping you were gonna hear something from a person or from somebody there might be you might go on a date with them. There might be like this thing starting up here with somebody here. 
or just dating and getting back out there may not be meeting somebody new could be for some of you getting back out there with this person having a new beginning you know it's uh, planning together setting a date to connect yes okay so I, oh yeah look at that the magician there's some magic happening so i definitely feel okay for some of you this is an air sign uh libra gemini aquarius or you are an air sign okay um for some this could be a virgo as well because it's mercury ruled so there's communication this is all about waiting things have changed making the best of a bad situation pisces energy here yeah you guys communication about what's been going on what have you uh, like someone say oh someone saying like hey where have you been how have you been what have you been up to what's life been like that kind of thing showing up here I, yeah hmm so I feel like it's a little bit of a surprise. I, I don't feel like you're going to be expecting this to come in from this person in November. And I, I get a sense it's going to make you happy. You know, like, look, the Page of Cups, there's an apology coming as well. So somebody's apologizing. Sweet text messages, mild. This is new love, new love happening. This is innocence. Here we have Scorpio energy here. There's an apology for ending something. Two pages. A lot of communication going back and forth. Talking about um, money. Talking about feelings. This person, I feel like... It's, it's sweet, though. Like, it's simple. It's not heavy-duty stuff. You know what I mean? Look at this. Yeah. So I, I definitely feel like this person, you know, why are they kind of messaging you like this? Why are they... I, you might have, like, a block, or you might have, like, there's no way for them to get a hold of you, and so they find a way to get a hold of you, or they reach you some indirect way, which is kind of unexpected, not maybe the usual vessel that they use to contact you and it's out of the blue and it's kind of like huh and it, it i just feel like maybe it gives you a little bit of like an uplift a little bit of hope but there must have been some betrayal or something must have ended you know and that because there's an apology for that for something that's ended here and there's movement for it i feel like you and this person you guys come, you sit at the table, you guys come to some kind of an agreement, you meet halfway, things progress, there's courage, things get stronger, there's this self-love thing here happening between the two of you, so I, there, I feel like there was an energy, perhaps in the past or something before, where two people were struggling to love the self, and kind of needing the other to validate the other person like too much you know what i mean so i feel like there's a lot of this inner courage some type of healing that must have happened yeah look at this the knight of swords i mean this is like such a major lifestyle change that has occurred in some type of separation or since something has ended here and the page of wands all these pages so there's so much communication there's so many levels and layers of different topics and things that you guys are going to be talking about if 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 the communication is allowed to happen right which i feel like it will because i see you being like like i asked and i see you being pretty happy about having this person reach out to you even though it's kind of indirect i see communication starting you know yeah i feel like the struggle comes to an end here let me see who this person might be for some of you all right, for some it is a Pisces. For some it's a Leo. Whoa, there's Pisces again. Now, if I don't call the sign, if you know who this person is, it doesn't mean it's not your person, okay? For some it's a Scorpio. And it could also, this could also be you. We have Aquarius. Pisces again, that's three times. So there's a lot of Pisces showing up quite a few times. So for some of you, this could be a Pisces or you are a Pisces okay and that's specifically to you 
yeah this heavy duty energy playing out here as far as like someone just kind of showing up in a very like uh, like you finding out there's some kind of message oh there's kids outside playing it's so odd there's never any kids here um you finding out that somebody's reaching out to you and for a special occasion or no occasion at all they're just thinking about you and they're missing you and they want to tell you let me see what else is going on here Get a couple of messages of love for you okay yeah this person says unavailable to give you all your deserves so that might have been a huge issue Sorry, guys. I never, ever record with the window open. And the one time I decide to do it, there's helicopters, there's kids outside. I'm, and it's funny. It's the way life is. Um, this person, like, are you, both of you, there might have been a lack of availability. Emotional, physical, mental, whatever, to be available for a relationship. There's definitely, like, someone here. There's definitely obsessiveness. Like, not willing to let another person go. Or two people haven't fully let go of each other in this relationship. You already know the answer you seek, the intuition. Yeah, so I feel like some of you might already know that you guys are going to be together again. True love. Yeah, this is definitely a true love connection here. So, I mean, the overall message really for you guys is that this connection... I just feel like if you had a time out or something might have happened or came to an end, or whatever. I have a severe betrayal. It's a little bit of a different story. That's really just going to be up to you. The cards can't really tell you what to do. Um, that's totally up to you. A severe betrayal, that's like going to be on you. If you're able to forgive, <clears throat> that's a choice you have to make. But if you've passed that, you know, you've dealt with something like that and you've gotten past that and there's bridges that can be built again, I, I see that that's possible. Anything is possible. It's just really the choices that you make if you if you have to like close out the reading and make that decision. You know, at the end of the day, cards can't. You know, we can't tell you what to do. You got to make that decision. But it feels to me like if that's a decision you make, I feel like it can be rebuilt <clears throat> if there's trust. If the trust can be rebuilt, then it looks positive. It looks positive because I feel like there's definitely love there definitely true love this love is emotional physical and unconditional even if there was a lack of availability i feel like um that's that that's changing okay so i pulled a charm here for you guys and i just want to show you let me get a card so i can kind of show you you've got a red heart all right so that's symbolic of love for sure but this heart kind of has a hole it's like a donut hole right so to me this heart represents it's transparent so to speak you can see through it and i feel like that's a strong message that love has to be transparent and i feel like this message for this reading in this relationship is transparency is key in order for this relationship to go forward transparency is key having to be able to see each other fully from in the 3d on all sides and throughout um, being able to see that love throughout one another no um, nothing hidden there can't be anything hidden um, because with love there's nothing hidden it's it's fully transparent you know we 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 see each other for how we fully are even our, our flaws and, and our, our best sides, and we accept and love each other fully, unconditionally, you know? Um, yeah, so that's really key here that I feel with this heart. Now, you might have like a charm heart somewhere that's very special to you, or a heart somewhere that has like a little hole in it, you know, maybe you wear it. Uh, maybe you have a piece of candy, you see a piece of candy that's shaped like a heart that's like, um, that's... I was just looking at like a Twizzler making, or somebody makes those little, little, you know, little heart, how's it go? Little heart thing like that. 
somebody might send that to you you might get that in a little text or something all right you guys so we leave that there for you if you want to get a personal reading link is in the description box below it doesn't matter what sign you are feel free to reach out to me book a reading with me i have a discount 30 minute phone call you know how it goes from the month of november through the end of the year so go over and definitely click on that link to book with me also if you want to donate to my kids fund all the links are on my link tree just go to that link tree link underneath the video and that will show you everything you need and everywhere just peruse that whole, that whole website and anything you want it's all right there all right love you guys take care no one likes being like you you made this mess and left me with the pain